Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back guys to another week at Resurrect Autos HQ. This week, it's gonna be busy as ever. Um, yeah, you know I put the hours in guys, you know I put the work in. Uh, we're gonna be working on this today. So we're gonna tear down the front end. We're gonna get it all stripped out and then I have already got some parts for this, so I'm just gonna show you what I've got. Uh, we'll go through it and um, yeah, just see how far we get on this one. <sighs> it's gonna be an hard one today again, but gotta do it, you gotta, gotta, gotta do it guys. Uh, this one, I've, uh, the, fear, the guy's still turning up for that one, for the, um, the crash modular to uh, get it cleared. Uh, data, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll do a video on that as well. I'll, I'll give you, you know, I'll come in and out and we'll show you, I'll show you what's going on. But uh, yeah, for now, let's get into it. Just before we jump into the blue Fiesta, um, we're going to do a little bit of work on this. I want to do the inside. The guy is on his way. He's going to be clearing this, taking it apart, clearing it, and then put it back in. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, that should clear it. No lights on the dash. Job done. So, yeah, let's hope that works. <laughs> you just never know with these cars. So... But before he does get in, um, turn up and do that sort of thing, I wanna, I wanna get in here and I wanna get all this done. So just just get my usual done, clear, clean the inside, hoover every, all the inside out and then get the machine and then just give the machine a good gun over the floor um, and probably the back seats. I'll leave the front two seats um, when it comes to cleaning them, the fabric, because they're just gonna be too wet and there's not enough time them for them to dry so we'll do that when the car comes back from paint shop but for now let's get the floor done let's get the seats back in and then let's get this um yeah modular crash data cleared when he turns up he should be here within an hour so hopefully yeah it all works out you just never know guys and then we'll jump onto the blue fiesta but before we just jump into this i'll set you up and then i'll show you me doing all this but before we do that I just want to quickly show you what I've got for the blue Fiesta in parts. So as you can see, we've got quite a few bits and pieces now. So I went and picked this up on Saturday morning. I had to drive all the way to um, uh, Nottingham. There's a place called uh, Nottingham Ford Car Dismantlers. I had to drive all the way up there to get this. So it took me quite a long time uh, to get here, but well, well worth it. So I'll show you the parts first, like obviously you can see them, but I'll show you in a bit more detail. And then I'll show you, I'll tell you what, what I paid for them. So, got the bumper here, it's all complete. It's got the fogs, uh, it's got the grills, nothing, no damage, uh, no no lugs or uh, things are damaged. There's no scratches on the paintwork. It's, it's, it's an absolute spot on bumper. So there's no problem with that at all. Um, got the bonnet again. There's no, there's no, uh, there's nothing on it at all. It's absolutely spot on. Might might need a little bit of a, because obviously the, the bonnets get the stone chips and stuff like that. So you, I might need a little bit of play around with it and a little bit of polishing, but nothing major. It's the majority of it is is, is absolutely perfect. So that's good. Um, set of headlights. These the are the daytime running lights as well. So it's got the little strips, LED strips on the on the lights. So again, <clears throat> no no tab damage, absolutely spot on, perfect on both of them. So that's good. Uh, got a couple of wheel arches because there's one missing on the driver's side. So I thought, um, you know, and he was he was given he was, he was given them away as a pair basically. So I said, all right, just take I'll start them anyway. I'll use the other one. You know, you never know. I'll use it. Uh, crash bar for the front because I know that that's got. A, sort of bent over on that sort of stuff. Um, he, he gave me these two, he actually gave me, he, he said, I'll, I'll throw these in for free because I was sitting to one side and I, I noticed them. I said, oh, what are you doing with those? He went, oh, I'm just going to throw them. I said, oh, if you're going to throw them, I'll, I'll take them off your hands and uh, you know, see if I can use them somewhere. So I've got a couple of uh, 
under under the um, this this connects to the slam panel and then it obviously connects to the, and the bumper connect connects to it and stuff like that. So they're always handy to have. Um, it's just yeah, I thought I'll grab them if he's getting rid of them. So and they do look okay. There's no real damage to the clips. There's nothing. You know, I can't see why he would have thrown them, but he, he was throwing them anyway. Um, I've got a rad pack and a fan fan as well, um, which is the correct one for the one liter Eco Boost, which you can see that it's got the uh, air compact at the top. So that's the correct one. Couple of wings. Again, um, I, only, I only really need the passenger uh, driver's side, but um, yeah, he was he, he kind of give me that one as well. Um, so. There you go. So that's all the parts. I'm still missing a slam panel um, for the front, so I've still got to work that out because those on one the Eco Boost, there's like a little round uh, hole for, on the left hand side for the air con pipe to connect. So you've got to get make, make sure you get the right one. And I haven't found one in a minute, just the slam panel. So I've got I've still got to source that. But as you can see, guys, I've got quite a lot of parts for this car ready. So you know we can really really go have a good crack at this. So, all these parts cost me £400, plus the time and the fuel to go up there. So, the fuel was about 60 quid there and back, um, all in, and yeah, parts were £400. So, 460 quid plus my, well, it was about half, it was about half a morning. I got back about one o'clock. So, I think, in colour, no painting, that's an absolute bargain for all these parts, especially those headlights. Those DLI headlights, daytime running light headlights, they are very expensive. Um, I think they're about £125 each, I've been quoted. Um, so, yeah, even the bumper, you know, you're talking, I don't know, £200, £250 maybe. So once you add it all up, it starts, yeah, it, starts, it's, it works out really well. So I thought that was an absolute bargain um, and, yeah. That's uh, given us enough parts now to crack on with this one. Just got, to, I've, like I said, just need to get, to get the slam panel sorted. Uh, I've already got the glass, the windscreen. Um, that's been sitting in the corner for a little while, so I already got that. I'm just waiting for the adhesive to turn up so we can set that one in place. So yeah, <sighs> that's what it is, guys. So let's uh, let's set you up. Let's crack on with this Fiat. Let's get this clean. Let's get when, when the guy turns up, and then we'll 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 go from that, and then we'll see. We'll get this ripped apart at the front and we'll see the damage at the front on this one. So, yeah, let's do it. Righto guys, this car, oh, I've got the dreaded cluster problem on this car. So it didn't, it didn't do it. It wasn't, it wasn't doing it at first, but now it definitely is doing it. So he's done the ECU, <clears throat> the airbag ECU. So now that is cleared, uh, put it back on. I've got some keys cut as well today. So you can see, um, got some new keys. Both of these are new because the other one was broke. So, yeah. There you go. But, yeah, I'll show you the cluster problem. So, you can see. <clears throat> Let me zoom in. There's no, there's no display on the center, but it was in there. So like it was working. So it just shows you that these can just fail 
at any time. It's crazy this Fiat 500 dial system problem. I know, um, you know, Mr. Fiat 500, he uh, he shows doing them on his channel, and you have to replace the actual cluster and all that sort of side of it. Um, the other, apparently, there's two bits to this, so it's the central bit to it, and then there's that bit to it where you've got like the flashy indicators flashing, but the rest of the things are flashing. It's part of obviously, you know, it's two separate elements to this, is what I found out. So <clears throat> we've got to get, get this out and I'm not going to replace it with another one. I'm going to get this one fixed. So I found a place and I found like second hand ones on the old flea bay. They're about 180 quid, 160, between 115 and 200 pound they are, uh, depending on you know what year and what, what sort of, um, I suppose what condition or whatever. But so that's the price range of, of a second hand one not only that when you get it and fit it you have to get the mileage correction done on it so the mileage on the second hand the second hand one you get won't be the same mileage as this one so that's got to be sorted out as well but what i found if i take this cluster out and take this somewhere that i found he's going to charge me um 170 quid and he'll refurb the whole cluster like brand new so for peace of mind really um for the next owner i think it's worth just doing that oh everything else works all right like the you know the ref counter um all that side of it it's just the dial side of it so it's the outer, outer cluster and the inner cluster so and i don't know i'm not sure what that triangle is i think that's something to do with start stop technology is it brakes don't know so i've got to get, i've got to get that sorted out as well <clears throat> This one here is obviously inside the menu, so you go inside the menu uh, over here, but I can't see the menu because it's not coming up. <laughs> so that's where we are, guys. I'm gonna take it out, take it down to a shop, gonna get it refurbed, bring it back, plug it in, it should be job done. Uh, I know it's 170 pound more than what I wanted to spend on you know, doing this, but it's just, it is what it is. These are prolific sort of <laughs> to, for going wrong, these clusters, so it's gotta get done, guys, yeah? So I'll take it out, I'll take it down there, and um, yeah, we'll move on to something else. So let's do it. Right, oh guys, it's Tuesday. Yeah, the next day. So I thought I'd bunch up these videos. Uh, wasn't enough content from Monday uh, just to put out. So yeah, I'm gonna bunch them up. Um, and I'm gonna jump on with a Fiesta over there, the blue one. So yeah, let's just jump in there. Let's get on with it, let's start ripping it down.
So there we have it. The whole front end is completely off. And yeah, you can see where the damage is. Obviously it's at, at the impact here. And yeah, it's kinked this over at this top pit here. The rest of it seems to be great. It seems to be really, really you know, in line and stuff. There's no chassis damage, um, nothing like that. It's just this bit here. Um, so yeah, there we go. Bearing in mind, this is, this is a category N, so it's non-structural. So um, yeah, that just needs a little bit of tweaking forward. Um, and then that should be should be good to go really but i'll uh, i'll just make sure double check i'll put the crash bar in in place so i'll line up in place making sure the holes are you know in place and that and those legs haven't moved especially this one because obviously this has been the impact side if it's going to move it's going to probably move this one um but yeah i'll check that with a crash bar and line it all up make sure it's all right it's good to go but yeah and obviously the wings off um you got a little bit of damage on this so I had to tweak this back a little bit and straighten this up a little bit. But again, you know, that's all that's all lined up. You know, it's in a good position. So there's no problem with that. Um, so that's good. So yeah, it's uh, coming along. It's coming along nicely. So I'm pretty quick, which I thought was going to be quick anyway, because there wasn't, um, there wasn't, I, I thought there wasn't too much damage and I've got all the parts. So we should really do this one pretty quick. Still got to pull the windscreen. I've taken out the trims on the inside of the car because when I pull, when I cut the windscreen out, you can see that trims both sides are off. Um, yeah, I just need to get the wire close to the edge of the windscreen when you're pulling it out. So that's why they're off. But yeah, it's coming along really good now. So I think, I think yeah, let's just go for the windscreen. Let's pull it out and then. That's that done. And then it's a case of just rebuilding it um, and uh, putting it back together. So yeah, let's just see how far we get guys. So let's do it. Right, oh guys, as you can see, that is lined up pretty well. I'm really happy with that. So, and the crash bar lines through absolutely spot on perfect. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're exactly where they, they should be. Um, the uh, legs, and yeah, there's a lot of straighter now. So, that's there's a little bit of a tweak here in between that bit there, but there's like a little crease. but. Uh, yeah, it's just it's getting behind it. I'll, I'll try and keep tapping it and just get it as perfect as I can. But uh, it's pretty good. It's pr you know, it's acceptable. But I'll have a, I'll have a, I'll, have, I'll have a go at it. Keep going at it. See what I can do. Um, just uh, yeah, <clears throat> and that's not with heating it up as well. Really, um, I could heat it up and then you know um, have a little tap around. Yeah, I might do that. But um, yeah, there we go for now. That's uh, that's that job done. Right, let's move on. Let's pull this screen out, um, and then we can start the actual rebuild um, of the front end, and we'll see how far uh, we can get today. Um, just don't know how far I want to get, but let's see. So let's do it, guys. So there we go guys, that is the windscreen out, uh, cleaned, prepped, ready to receive the new one. So yeah, there we go. I'm definitely getting quicker at these windscreen removals, I'm telling you. 
<laughs> yeah, I just know like now what to look out for, you know, when to pull it, where, where, what, at what point to pull it. Um, do you know what I mean? Like this, this, this point here, you know, you use a smaller piece of, uh, of that, um, uh, metal frayed, uh, stuff that I use. Um, <laughs> and then when you, you can pull it right, right round to there. And then when you get round to this point and going around the front part, you need a longer piece to go there. And yeah, I'm just getting them f smashed out now. So yeah, really, um, really chuffed for that. So there we go. But let's not stop there, guys. Let's carry on. Let's just see how far we get today. Let's get the, the, um, the hinges. I've got new hinges to go on the, on the bonnet, bonnet hinges. Let's put them on. Let's put the let's put the front slam panel on the uh, radiators. Let's let's get it hopefully get it running. Let's let's just carry on, guys. Yeah, let's do it. Right, here we go. So that is the front slam panel crush bar, all that on connected. Uh, there's water in the system. I've not started it. Well, I tried to start it, but this battery's completely dead. So I'm gonna leave it overcharge uh, like that overnight. And then hopefully when I come back in the morning, um, it will just, yeah, it will just turn over and crank. So yeah, that is gonna be kind of where we're gonna leave it today done absolute loads over the last couple of days i know i've um sort of uh you know bunched them up a little bit the the, um, the content for the two days but i just thought i'd give it you know get a bit more content out of there instead of waffling <laughs> so there we go right okay guys that is going to be it for today's video um yeah really appreciate all the support don't forget to give the video a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed um i have got the st is back from the guy um, and it looks absolutely crazy amazing so yeah that is that's going to be a video coming out soon but for now guys that is going to be it stay safe and i'll see you on the next one